Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, Serious About Stars. My name is Jay, and welcome to your reading. Um, also, sorry that it's taken me so long um, on this round of videos to get to you. Um, yeah, I usually upload them more quickly, I record them more quickly, and it's been an interesting couple of weeks. But here we are. Um, here is your reading. Um, thank you for your patience. Uh, yeah, so Scorpio, I have meditated on your energy um, and we will pull some cards live and on camera later, so stick around for all of that. Um, also, um, take only what resonates here, leave the rest, allow your own intuition to be present um, to confirm whether or not certain messages are for you or not. Um, also, if you find that this does resonate with you, you can purchase um, a reading, um, personal reading on Etsy. If you would like the description or the description, that is in the description. So anyway, we'll jump into your reading, Scorpio. So, okay, so from your meditation, what I really got for you was, you may feel vulnerable right now. You may feel vulnerable right now. What I saw was like a rose still rooted, still standing, but it's like the wind has been kind of tossing it back and forth. There's, it's like there's something that's been out of your control. Something that you had to realize is out of your control. And I feel like this is something that like, you, you maybe you've been here before like you've been in this situation before and maybe you're handling it a lot better than you did before i i do i do feel as well um and also it's kind of like there's like the, just the weather is rough okay maybe um the wind i really felt like this is really about the wind what is the wind what does the wind represent what is the wind in your life right now is it what is it coming from um there's also this energy of like this rose just and in this metaphor like you are the rose right but in this sorry my cat is uh yeah never mind ignore her please sorry <laughs> Okay, if you hear if you heard all of that, um, it's like this rose is like just trying to hold on to its petals. What are you trying to hold on to, Scorpio? Thing is, is there's so much right now that may be just beyond your control. You might not be able to hold on to all of these things that you're trying to hold on to. And that's okay. That's okay. If you lose a petal, that is okay. It's okay. I don't know about you, but I don't want to know that it's going to be okay. I'd rather know that it is okay. When you know that it is okay, you say that it is okay. That attracts more of that energy, right? So if you want it to be okay, know that it is okay now. Also, moving along here, um, the, the, the kind of sweet thing about this energy, if it, Scorpio, if it feels like there is something that you have lost, something of yours that has been taken from you, Again, by the weather, something you couldn't control. It's like somebody will stumble across this petal, this 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 bright red, pink, peach, yellow, whatever color petal, and be so greatly inspired by it. And there's no other way that they would have come across it. It's kind of like the universe or God or you know whatever it is for you could really be using this piece of you to help or inspire someone else um 
I'm feeling here too, somebody who is totally innocent, has nothing to do with this taking this from you. It's someone who, I don't know, I just, again, is, is worthy and innocent. And yeah, I don't know. I just felt the need to say that for um, maybe somebody needed to know that. Um, but it's like that, like, have you ever stumbled across something like that, like on your path, like a petal or a leaf or like is something really beautiful or a feather or something like that? It's kind of that, that energy of, you know, when you've been inspired, like you're about to inspire somebody. <laughs> so yeah, this confirmation with me getting choked up there, <clears throat> having something in my throat, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, you are inspiring somebody. You are really, really inspiring somebody. Like you are reaching somebody, Scorpio. And it's really, really beautiful. Um, there's also this energy of, again, like this storm, right? This wind will pass and maybe you are being tested right now. Maybe you are enduring some kind of a test and maybe it feels like this is going on for longer than it should. So maybe you start to wonder, is this really gonna pass? Like, when is this gonna be over? This, this storm, this is a long storm or something like that, but it will. And um, it, it feels like this, this test is about maybe how you react. It's interesting cause like a, a rose has thorns, right? But it's kind of like in this scenario, in this situation, whatever you're going through, it might not, the thorns just might not be relevant. There might be this like, kind of like canceling out kind of energy. It just feels like it's not about somebody. This isn't about someone, this, or I almost said, or something. It's like, it's the weather. It's just the weather. And it's like, you know that. And um, again, this feels like it's about this test maybe, maybe how you react, but this also feels like it's, this is about resilience, your resilience and your strength. Believe in your strength, Scorpio. Believe in your strength. Um, I don't know, this energy too of just being, just knowing your strength and your, your ability and believing in yourself and how amazing you are and your connection, how connected you are to all things and knowing that this wind can't, um, knock you over, like you are, you are rooted in standing, like you are connected to the earth, you are connected and strong and you're good, you are like this wind may be strong, but you are stronger. Just that kind of energy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull some cards now, live and on camera for you. So I have already pre-shuffled these. Um, so just a little bit of extra insight, please, for Scorpio. Um, uh, from the universe, from God, just a little bit of maybe guidance or just insight to what is going on. Bridge. Successfully overcoming a problem. I feel like this is just confirmation that any kind of issue or problem that has kind of come up in your life, you are overcoming it successfully. You will be successful. I don't know if there's anything in this imagery that speaks directly to you or means something to you. Um, it's interesting, there's a bridge here, but it feels like there's also some kind of a ladder um, that might mean something. And also crossing the water, crossing some kind of an emotional experience maybe leaving one place and going to another place. Like there might be a new, whole new, whole new chapter, whole new experience, like things, like maybe like your whole, maybe like life is about to change. Like 
you're going somewhere different. Like maybe you, you're really going somewhere new. Maybe you're you're moving or you're going on a trip that um, I don't know. Maybe this whole new chapter. Things are really changing. You're crossing a bridge. Interesting. Okay. What else? Scorpio. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Mmm. You are, I feel like you are, you are so, 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 so close to meeting someone new. Like there is someone new and it's kind of like you might already kind of feel them. Um, like on your energy, like maybe recently, like in the recent days or weeks, you've been feeling like this new energy or something has been off and you couldn't quite explain it. And then like there's this different energy, you don't like recognize it, it's not necessarily familiar, but like you notice it and you feel it pretty strongly. Maybe it is this um this 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 new person who like you are aligning with, getting really, really close to, and you're gonna have this incredible soul connection with this person. And there's this, there's this divine timing that is at play there is divine timing and so there's like still this like energy of waiting um like 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 from like that 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 soul perspective that isn't even like that you wouldn't even really be conscious of necessarily um because it's just divine timing you know it's divine intervention um we can't control that we can't say we can't check our watch and see when it's coming but at the but at the soul level that's there and maybe there is this impatience that you're you're, you're feeling um just intuitively psychically like right yeah somebody new and really cool is entering your life interesting really cool they might be really cool you might think they're really cool they might think you're really cool. Um, I think you'll be really impressed by this person. Like, whoa, you know, like, like, I don't know, you might, yeah, I just feel like you'll be really impressed by what this person does or like who they are or, yeah. Oh, I like that, I do. Right, Scorpio, what else? What else is going on? Ooh, grasshopper. Ooh, some lucky energy here. Situations in the balance. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. Am I reading that right? Situations in the balance situations in the balance that require careful handling well i'm a little dyslexic so i i had to reread it a couple times but that really is what it said okay grasshopper so when i see this what i what i feel here actually um also like grasshoppers are very lucky so there's some luck on your side but also my shirt bit okay um it's kind of like you know when you have everything down to a science you have everything perfectly balanced like you have like your routine this has to be like this and then it all works out and it's been working out maybe there's something like like someone threw something up at you and you had to catch it like this new element this new thing in your life something new into the mix and now it threw everything off balance and this thing that's been thrown to you that might, it might be great, it might be awesome, it's not wrong, but it's like you had everything perfectly balanced and, and maybe now you feel like you don't and there's this having to really pivot and rearrange everything else in your life and and maybe people don't really see that so much on the outside or, or maybe they don't understand that, 
and that's what's and that's just what is going on and, and maybe you're just having to be kind of delicate um with this um situation with the different things in your life your different responsibilities to kind of as gracefully as possible like pivot rebalance certain things Show you that close up in case there's anything that speaks to you in that imagery. Also, maybe it feels like you're having to take a leap of faith, having to jump out of a situation, maybe a situation that you've been in, maybe it's been a job, maybe it's been um, something related to your home. Um, something's not working anymore. Maybe something is I'm feeling flooded. I, I don't know what that means, but it's kind of like an environment. This is about like an environment maybe has changed and it it's not working anymore. And you're having to jump, take a leap and totally like go from uh, one experience to a completely different experience like cross a bridge like I don't know it feels like that maybe you are being called to leave a situation behind and explore something new maybe there's a lot of pressure that is kind of like kind of pushing you into a corner a little bit and you are called to leave that behind and like grasshopper just completely leap and jump into like a completely new timeline experience. It feels like this is about an environment. This could be a home again, this could be work, this some kind of environment. Okay. I psychic ability, trust your intuition, Scorpio trust your intuition your intuition knows if you have been trying to figure out something or if you've been wanting any kind of confirmation there um is this reminder to that you can trust your intuition here and maybe you are being tested a little bit to trust your intuition maybe, yeah certain tasks could be about that this feels like you you know and the universe or god whatever it is for you is reminding you that yes you you have psychic abilities and you can trust your intuition you see something there's something you see there's something you know you see something you see something that others don't and you are being guided to i'm feeling like not act like quickly or um, sudden, but like act gently and mindfully and um, decisively and assertively, like calmly, like I don't know, some kind of um, collected, I don't know, this feels very calm and collected um way of like i don't know acting on your intuition but not hastily it's just not hastily i don't know i just that came through with this so all right let's see what else what else for you scorpio one more card one more message from this deck and then we will close it out with um a guardian angel message Bell announcement. Ooh, there's an announcement. This feels like an announcement that you will be making. I'm so sorry if you hear all my cats in the background. Please ignore them. They don't usually make this much noise, I swear. But they wait until I'm recording, so I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Okay. An announcement. An announcement is being made. This feels like it is a future energy, but it is your future. 
it is your future you have something exciting to say um you have something exciting to say and it's like there's something here that you know it's this it's, it might not have even happened yet as you're watching this but it's kind of like you know like you know it within and um you can feel like you can feel like the universe announcing this to you right now like telling you this and eventually you will be able to also share this same announcement so that's kind of exciting let's do one more card to kind of like to say a little bit more into what that is like card just like flew right out i just needed to come out barrel you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals interesting so this feels to be honest like like with these two energies of like leaving a certain environment behind jumping into a new endeavor it could be about this barrel this this lack of something in your life whether that is love money or goals this is this this lack energy or this um disappointing energy it is this this pressure that you feel it could be stressing you out it is what is pushing you to achieve your highest goals reach for your highest timeline that pressure is necessary to, it is necessary to push you out of this this environment this limiting environment that you might be in yeah so it's actually like a really beautiful thing you know like if like a relationship or a job or something is 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 starting to fail you is starting to flood is starting to like things are starting to get ruined or go bad it's like good because that very thing if it if that's what it takes to to push you to leave that behind to to go and reach and find the thing that is really serving your highest timeline your highest good then great right okay scorpio we're gonna go ahead and close your reading with a guardian angel message um these cards have already been pre-shuffled so let's just go ahead and grab one card for you scorpio okay whoa 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 all right you guys got three cards all right um you got a prayer card so um we'll, we'll do this one first because this is the first one i saw so if you feel compelled to kind of like say this prayer with me then it is for you take it if you'd like dear guardian angel help me to be flexible in my attitudes and beliefs help me not to fear the transient nature of life help me to remember the eternal light which emanates from my soul and the eternal light that emanates from the heart of every living thing help me to remember that i am eternally guided and loved by god and all creation and we've got oh guardian angel came right out too trust all unfolds in perfect timing you are one with divine will focus only on love and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. Hi, your guardian angel am watching over you. Your guardian angel is watching over you. Scorpio, your angels are there. They are here. And conflict. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart, do what you love, 
not what you think you should do. Also, this card here, it came out face down. So this could be something that has kind of snuck up on you, something that you didn't see coming. This sort of conflict, these, again, what did it say? Um, feelings which have been suppressed for a very long time. It could be really coming up to the surface right now and um, demanding to be dealt with right now. And maybe, yeah, maybe that is kind of what is throwing things off balance a little bit, but it is so important and so vital. Um, yeah, follow your heart and do what you love, not what you think you should. Okay, Scorpio, thank you for watching this. I hope that you have a beautiful, blessed day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Um, also, do turn the bell notifications on um, so that you don't miss future content. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.